So uh, I'm going to re we're going to reclaim the fort today. That's uh, that's the plan now. Now that we have completed adventure mode, I think we had a, it was a I would say it's a successful adventure mode. We died terribly. We found a couple things. Um, but uh, before I I close the game out because I want to make sure my print mode is back on. Text will be text because it is uh, it's just a lot easier to understand and see some things with the the, the tile set. If you use uh, ASCII, you actually don't need to do that. To, to do the changing. If you play if you play in ASCII, everything's fine. But if, because I use a tile set, it can be a little wonky whenever you're building things. So we're going to uh, reload the game and uh, reclaim the fort. Now when you reclaim a fort, sometimes it's as if nothing has happened. Other times it's as if everything has happened since you've been gone. Hey, the best at win. There. Okay, I think that's okay. Okay, so we're going to start playing. We're going to do back into fortress mode and reclaim that fort. That's the plan, anyways. We'll see what happens. Now, because we have a dead dwarven empire, we could, I suppose, go in and. Um, like build multiple places trying to re rebuild the empire would be the idea. Um, I think, is this me right here? No, I'm over here, aren't I? I don't remember where I am. Uh, anyways, we can go into Shift R to reclaim. And we have, it, it shows up here. Ereshikum. It says it's a ruin. Why does it say it's a ruin? We're going to hit E and reclaim it. Um, and see what happens with it. We may need to go into, uh, Legends mode and see if something maybe attacked it and destroyed it. I don't know. Uh, we're just going to play now. It's fine. Uh, we've arrived with Journey from Mountain Homes and Fort Wilson Beyond. Uh, we're about to make an outpost. Um, since it says that, we must be dead. Ambush. Drive them out. Oh! Wait a minute. Where? What's going on? No reports. I mean, there's dwarves in here. Hmm. Where are me? Where? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, this is all like frozen over. It must be winter time. Am I up here? F1. There's me. We're up, we start up on top of our our place. We have yeah. We have all seven all new people. Others. Oh. Apparently, why would we be hostile? <laughs> why is there no one here? There's only six people here so far. Maybe we just don't. Maybe we only see those six. So all these folks are going to be hostile towards us. I'm not sure why. Apparently something terrible happened. We're going to die. We don't have any gear. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to... We're going to create a military. We're going to put... Um, yeah, you know what? Leather armor is fine. We don't have anything, really. We're going to put everyone into the squad. Okay. And pass a little bit of time and hope we don't die. Keeps on like. Oh, because we're finding everyone. We're finding all of the people. We're going to die. I'm really curious. Um, so let's open up Legends mode again. Now let's find sites. This is handle tub. We want to see what happened here. A lot of folks fell into a deep chasm in handle tub in 126. Clearly something terrible happened here. I'm trying to figure out where I where I 
A goblin settled in handle tub. Handle tube. That's... No, that's, that's... I don't know. Um... Here it is. Somebody attacked us. The evil of Finns defeated the crested barricade of the Palace of Balls and took over Handle Tube. The new government was called the Worried Evils. A lot of folks, a lot of goblins settled in here, a lot of humans settled in here. Why are my people still around, though? Did they just, like, agree to join them? They didn't fight back? There's folks visiting. There's the them attacking again. This would be before. Someone re regained their senses after an initial period of questionable judgment. So that's where we left. That's where we, we retired the fort here. And then a lot of folks visited us. Just a lot more visitors came in. This is after we have retired to Fort, mostly just visitors while we were playing adventure mode. These kind of these things happened. Obu Blizzard soldiers visited. The evil fins attacked. Vanod was struck down. Lots of folks were struck down. Jimmy was struck down. A hen was struck down. <laughs> and we lost Cog, we lost Merlin. Bob was struck down. A cat was struck down. A booth Hardy Butters was shot down. Mm -hmm. Sean Bean was struck down. More hens and cats. So a lot of folks did die. I'm trying to see where it changed, where they actually uh, claimed it. Mr. P struck down. Sean is down. Cave Swallow Woman. It goes Hippo and Christopher. Eltman the Goblin. And here it is. There's what that's the one I heard before. Evil Fins defeated us, and the new government is called the Evil, the Worried Evils. So now I guess all the folks that are here just decided, you know what? I'm good. Let's join them. But right after Marius was taken out. And then a lot of goblins came in and settled. Also, a lot of humans came in and settled. The goblin Stozu Willful Maces, the Young Destroyer. So he has a name called the Young Destroyer. It's a rather exciting name. Anything else? Lots of folks are just settling, looks like. Oh, wait. More things happened. So this guy got motto amuse wicked the righteous suffering of the righteous suffering of fishes decided to settle here. This has become like a, uh, a probably uh, a proper goblin fort apparently. Uh, the puzzling arch, the palace of the palace of balls, launched an expedition to reclaim handled tube. So some group called the puzzling arch came back to try to settle it again. And then a lot of folks fell into a deep chasm. I'd like to know where that chasm is. Okay, I, mean, I see dwarves though. So I'm gonna assume there's a lot of goblins. We don't have to make a new world. We can do this. There's our our people are up here. Uh, let's like um, let's move them over here. I don't see any goblins. I do see a lot of dwarves. Frame rate's kind of terrible right now because there's a lot of folks and a lot of things going on. Hmm? It's, I know there's an ambush. Stop telling me this. I fell into a deep chasm. You think that's what happened? Do you think, do you think that's, that's what it, I don't know what that means. Some sort of uh, demon? I didn't say anything about a demon. It just said mostly goblins. 
Let's go back down to our, uh, I don't think we can see all the way down here. We, we dug, we didn't dig that far down. Here's our first cavern we were in. And we hit the second cavern. We started digging down further, but that's as far as we can see. Is that what that means? Like, maybe a, a demon came in and, uh, came from below or something? I'm sure we'll get attacked. We're right, right now we're trying to walk through here for some reason. Now, if this fails, can we grab a, um... We can't play as goblins. There's mods, though. If we had a mod to play as goblins, could we come in here and play this fort as a goblin camp? <laughs> it's very interesting that... All of our dwarves are still around. Are these my people? I can't tell which ones are which. Oh, the frame rate is terrible. Yeah, there's Reg. I'm trying to go store items. They're not getting attacked. You know what? Uh, you guys go do what you want to do. Hey. Oh. Hmm. Okay. No fighting going on just yet. There is... I mean, there's a... There's a goblin... Oops. My frame rate is, like, crashed. Come on. Come on, game. Come on. There's a goblin here, but he could be a visitor. I get it. I get it. There's Mountain Dew there. There's Thab. We also have a, go a goblin here. Tiza. Okay, they all say hostile. Let's, um... Let's just let it go. Let's just let it play out. Take a little bit. But I'm curious. There's no way that I know of to unturn them from being hostile. Maybe if we kill the leader. I don't know. I've never reclaimed the fort like this before. The named dwarf. You mean the named uh, goblin? Yeah, that's... Yeah. A lot of them fought, but most of them joined in with the goblins. Some goblin with... A couple goblins with fancy names came in. Every time I see somebody new, it, it pauses on me. A lot of folks in here. Wait, it said Jimmy died. It said Jimmy was struck down. But Jimmy's right there. What are my people doing? Storing items. Okay, good. Yeah, store those items. I'm curious, though, about down here. Is that as far as... That might be as far as... No, because I have a build to see. So let me uh, uh, move over here. Go over there. Why did he eat? There's another goblin over uh, over here as well. I see more people. We had we had 
quite a few folks in this fort. We had, what, 70, 60, 70 folks? 50? Somewhere in there. So it looks like this fort is unplayable, but I'm just curious to see what what has happened. Even if we could, even if it was okay, the frame rate is terrible. I couldn't play it like this. But it's a fine example of uh, you never know what's going to happen whenever you uh, reclaim a fort. As we know that, so it's like maybe a hundred years ago, the dwarves were killed. And we built a for this fortress, which uh, which basically brought us back. And I guess as soon as we moved into adventure mode, they sent out another attack. It may have already been on its way there. Something like that happened pretty quickly. Um, a, an, uh, an attack of goblins came in and attacked us. Um, maybe it didn't happen though, because you can't you can't get ambushed or you can't get sieged um, when you have less than 80 dwarves. So maybe that had something to do with it, why they did not come sooner. There are ways of adjusting that. Let me find my units here. You guys are going to move? They don't appear to be moving. <laughs> now... I can tell you to kill from a list. It's gonna give me everybody. If I tell you to kill one of my dwarves, let's, let's let's go kill Jimmy. Jimmy's a little kid. Oh, he's a human. He's not a kid. Let's go kill Jimmy. Let's just see what happens. Okay, so they're gonna move out. Dropping their weapons. Pick up your axe. Go kill Jimmy. I don't know where he is, but I'm sure he deserves to die. This might be him right here. It'll take like 30 minutes, but they'll get they'll make their way over there. And they'll kill Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, that's what they get for being traitors and joining the goblins. We also have there's a yeah, there's a goblins there, there's a goblin here. This this tile set, I used to really like this tile set. I still do. But the um the engraved stone is ridiculous looking. This is my, my inn, but it's just like, you can't tell what's going on in here. Hopefully it gets, it gets an update. Because I do like Phoebus. Alright, let's get over there. And kill that Jimmy guy. I think what's happening is it's trying to draw everything that's in there. Oops, that's not what I want. I want... Uh, so all the stuff's being... It might speed up here in a bit. Yeah, there's Jimmy. So it's trying to generate all the stuff that has hap that is is happening? I don't know. I'm slowly making our way over there. Slowly making our way there. Oh, fighting is going on. Uh, Reg found his way to, to Jimmy. Oh, yeah, here we go. Get him! Very in slow motion. Get him! I don't know if this will set everyone off else off on us. I mean, it's just Jimmy. Next, we're gonna go kill some goblins. Speaking of my military, um, what do you wear? What kind of equipment do you have? Okay, you do have weapons. Individual choice. Okay. Slowly, slowly, we will kill Jimmy. We're up there, we're just, like, swinging with our fists. But we'll get him. Oh. The human bard strikes to recruit in the lower leg with his, with her pecan wood zillar. With his, with his instrument, with his musical instrument, he's swinging the thing. He just hit Arab and made him vomit. The human bard strikes to recruit in the left foot with the, with the wood zillar. Man, Jimmy. With with the instrument, is destroying us. 
<laughs> yeah, surround him. Take him down. I kind of want to keep this world around. Maybe after this tutorial fort thing, I I'm, I I really want to try building up. See, I always wanted to try it, but building up a, uh, like, creating our Dwarven Empire again. Maybe build, settling a new Dwarven Fort, like, further away from the goblins. It seems like this world has been basically taken over by, uh, it's just goblins and elves. It's, it's, or, uh, goblins and humans is all that there is in this place. But if we could build a Dwarven Fortress, like, far away, away from anyone else, maybe get it somewhat settled, then move on and build another one. We'll, like, retire that one, build another one for like a year and then move on to the next one and maybe we can get a, a bit of a dwarven civilization grown up again. I actually kind of want to try that. That may be our, maybe our next move. There's no elves really wor left in the world. There are elves around but they are conquered by the humans. And you can by uh, if you... You've never seen an elf? Yeah, elves will, will attack you. Sometimes elves will just attack you just if by like chopping down all the trees. Um, if you try trading them wood, that'll make them mad. And sometimes they'll come back and attack you. Usually it's pretty pitiful. Elves aren't very much of a... aren't very scary. Have we not killed Jimmy yet? What are we doing to the guy? Uh, oh, look, he's unconscious, looks like. Where's Jimmy? Jimmy... He's been latched on firmly. He's, I've improved my miscellaneous, uh, miscellaneous object usage. That was not satisfying. Uh, Expedition Leader bites the human bard in the right hand, and now he's latching on firmly, and he's he's also punching the human bard. All right, good. Yeah. <laughs> yes, always give them wood. They love wood. <laughs> uh, one thing I was going to mention... Um, if you're like, this is still tutorial fort mode. Um, if you're new to the game, the best, um, strategy that I have, I have read, I've seen, is to, like, when you build your first base, don't try to build, like, a, uh, a massive base where you're building, you're, you know, you're farming and you're, someone just got cut up, ugh, and you're, uh, trying to get some metals and building weapons just focus on one thing so like your first fort focus on a farming fort and just focus on getting farming done um get the farming set get your still set up and just work on like getting a food industry you can trade that away and work later on once that one dies you get some sort of where beast comes in and tells you up tells you up you can move on to like a um i don't know a carpentry fort where you focus on just making wooden objects you go out you chop trees down you focus on making you make a lot of things out of wood and you just focus on dealing with that. And then you kind of move on. So you just have multiple forts that focus on one aspect of the game. Because it's kind of overwhelming when you think of all the different things that are here. That's why on my tutorials, I don't do, like, really involved ones. I think the game is more interesting whenever you sort of figure things out yourself. Um, but just so you can kind of find the basics. Get the basics covered so it's not so overwhelming. And yeah, I think it's probably the best way of uh, playing the game. Of learning the game, anyways. You've really seen elves riding elephants? Really? I don't think this guy's ever gonna die. Interestingly, here though, of all these folks, I mean, I guess some of them could be goblins, but most of them just look like, look, there's Frank, the goblin child. We have a goblin lasher there with Tiza. Hippo with a goblin bar. That's one person that we brought in. Most of these guys, I think, are ones that we brought in ourselves. I was going to show... By reclaiming this fort, I was going to show, uh, I was going to build a statue of my adventure mode, the guy that I made. I showed last time you can make, ooh, who is that that's getting cut up? Last time I showed that you can, um, like, specify your statues. You can actually, since you have, when you make your, uh, your adventure mode guy, he's now a member of the world, and you can build a statue of, of that guy if you wanted to. 
Human Bard loses hold of the Pecan Wood Xylar. Uh, releases the joint lock. Okay, just lots of punching going on. Punching in the head, punching in the hand. The human Bard is vomiting. Okay, I think we, I think we almost got him. No one else seems to mind this, though, in this fort. And again, we could also grab, in adventure mode, we could also visit this fort, which is kind of the plan of our last time, but we didn't quite make it there. We could, event we could uh, find our way to this fort. Another thing about playing it like, um, like building up the Dwarven Empire, like rebuilding it, we could also send out... Jimmy's been found dead. Yeah, about time. Why is it telling me this, though? But Jimmy is not part of my fort. The current song that's playing right now. Uh, currently playing. Is it tell me? Unpromised. What's the name of the song? All these are off of um, incomtech.com. Kevin McLeod. Okay, well, some folks are visiting us, but. I don't know. We have guests coming in. Guests, goblin crossbow, and goblin, goblin poets are visiting us. Yeah, this is a regular fortress mode. We just re we reclaimed the fort, and terrible things happened uh, happened while we were gone. Hmm. Okay. Any ideas? What should we do now? I think we're pretty much done here. We can try to see if we can get ourselves to move down. Uh, anyways, about the statue, I was. We can come in, we can make a, a person, I don't know what I said, if I com completed what I was going to say, we, we can make a statue of our adventurer if we wanted to. Um. So, um, let me see. That's our stairwell down. We didn't get really any further than that. Let's, let's just move here. Yeah, all kinds of things can happen. The world continues while you're while you're go while you're playing. So while we were uh, out playing with the elves, I guess, whenever we were uh, doing our adventure mode, this fort was getting attacked by goblins. Let's see if they're actually moving. Yeah, I have too. Um, we want you. Listening to poetry. Don't listen to poetry. Go downstairs. No one's attacking them. It's very strange. Where is our stairwell down, though? It's over here. Um, make sure this door isn't locked. No. It's fine. They just don't seem to want to go down there. If I just tell you to go, like, just like go here, we'll work you down in batches. I can't seem to get them to move. Poor Jimmy, his blood's all over the wall. I'm not going to move. Um, let me see if I can find out more of, of what happened here. So. So we settled over. Which one was this? This one? I 
think we're, I'm not sure why, I think we're... Hmm, let me see here. Handle tub. This one never one settled. We already saw most of this. There's where Jimmy was struck down by the dwarf, by me. And this is where they fell into a deep chasm in Handle Tube. But it doesn't say anyone else joined us. Hmm. Who's the puzzling arch? That's what I like to know. Text is off now. So we still know the Palace of Balls. That's that's us. But the puzzling arch. Puzzling arch. Who are you? Puzzling arch was a dwarven group from the realm of dawning. The Palace of Balls launched an expedition. So this must be like they just sort of spawned, I guess. Whenever this fort got taken, they sort of spawned and then came in to try to, try to, try to take it. Unless that's us. Is that us? Oh, you know what? It might be us. We are the Puzzling Arch. That, I think that makes sense. Because we just showed up. Yeah, this is us. <laughs> That's whenever we're called the Puzzling Arch. And uh, moved into here. I don't know how to see anything else, though. These are all going to be just folks that have done things in the world. I had seven. Did you count nine there? See if I can catch any people in here. Have you noticed? I don't. The evil of Finns are the ones that attacked us. There's where they took us. In the early winter, 126. They attacked Crescent Barricade in the Palace of Balls, and they defeated us and took it over. New government called the Worried Evils. Uh, Export of Wealth has a, has a bit to do with it, yes. What was it? Uh, hang on. Let's say anything about... Um, I'm trying to see maybe if they had some sort of uh, demon leading them. Dingle Man became an enemy. Giant Cheetah became an enemy. These weren't the same ones. The evil uh, of Finns. Most weren't the same ones that we were attacking in Adventure Mode, were they? What was my guy's name in... Um, in Adventure Mode. Hey, Beige Mustang. A dwarf became the overlord of the war evils. Not, not one of mine. I 
don't see him in here. Hmm. All right. Well, I think we're done here. I think our tutorial for it has also come to an end. Yeah, Dwarf Overlord of Goblins, which is insane. Uh, what was my guy's name? It started with a P. P. Oh, there's a lot of P's. F something. Um. Oh, there was a lot of blood involved. There he is. Pundik. Pundik acts bathed the blood of hugs. So I can look at this guy. And here I am. I was born in 104 of unknown parentage. Uh, chosen by fate of Vanguard above destiny. Uh, I joined... Oh, then I had Inspuz and Kali join me for a life of adventure. And then I was struck down by Song Friendwealth with a copper battle axe in Myth Papers. Bang was my was my deity. I had Inspuz and Kali join me in my adventure in adventures. The uh, I was a member of the Union of Sheens and the Kindled Fellowship. Apparently, I was a lieutenant in the Kindled Fellowship. I killed. I had one kill, a Kestrel. In my in myth papers. Uh, let me look and see if I can find that. That's I usually do that. Uh, dual fortress. Lower siege number. Let's see if I can find this. Popula a population trigger. And you can adjust that. Uh, in the Bay 12 forums. Basically just search... Um, Seed population trigger, and it'll tell you how to go into the uh, into the uh, entity underscore default, and you can change the raws into making it to where you can lower that. Typically, it's eighty, but you can lower it down to uh, I think twenty is the lowest you can have it at. I'm not sure if it. I think you have to completely regenerate the world. Like you can edit. You can edit it, and then you have to completely regenerate the world for it to actually work. Size of the siege, I think it, it just goes up with... It, I think that, I think, is based on the value of your four. Like, you'll start out with a small siege, and typically you get bigger and bigger. And there's different sieges. You have like goblin sieges. You can have a necromancer siege. Um, elves also would siege you. Okay. So there you go. I guess the stream is done. We're done a little early. But uh, I don't know what else I could. What else we could do here? Play below the invasion capital. So ambushes will get bigger and bigger. Yeah, that makes sense. Ambush! Drive them out! Yes, yes, yes. Necromancer sieges are the best. <laughs> uh, is it reveal all? Or is it just reveal? There we go. Good call. We did some digging. There's the cave system. Look at my unit list real quick. There's some flesh balls around. Yeah, my text is all off. Like that, maybe. Yeah, it's just showing me my folks. There's nothing else in there. More digging that we did. 
You can see our stairwell right here. And there's the next the next cave system. It's a big cave system. That's a massive one. And there should be one more. We were in that one. And then there's the next one. This is a big one, too. Where's my stairwell? I guess I did. I guess I just missed that one. Oh, I did. I guess I just missed that one. And then we'll have the Magma Sea. In this tutorial mode, I'm showing you how to cheat. Uh, ignore all that. Uh, don't look too much further, either. So then we get the Magma Sea. I don't know. I don't know. That's uh, that's very strange. All right. Well, I think we're gonna have to call it a day. It's called a fort. Thanks again for watching. Um, if you have any questions, I, I will try to answer them in the uh, comments here on YouTube. That is. But uh, if you, if it's about the siege and what happened here, I do not know. <laughs> I know. I know we got attacked. I don't know what uh, what falling in the pit means. Um, but, uh, yeah. So I think what we're going to do, though, for our next Dwarf Fortress series, unless someone has a better idea, I think we may continue with this land. Let me, uh, let me... We're going to retire this fortress. And let me take a look at the map, the world map here. We may continue this, and, and uh, next, next Monday, that is, and see about, see if we can maybe reclaim the world for the dwarves. Let's take a look and see what we can do. We actually we could look at Legends mode and probably be a little bit easier. To see what's going on, but I think we'll be alright. Some time will pass a bit more. We probably passed maybe maybe three months or so of time for them to attack us. So we have let me pull a bit the legends mode. It's a little bit easier to look at. A penguin siege. Yeah, goblins will bring things, but we saw with the um, uh, with that attack that I had in adventure mode, they had what was it? They had something with them. So if we're gonna continue this fort, this will be the end. This will be the last. If you're watching this on YouTube, this will be the last tutorial fort fort episode. I think we covered everything, though. Everything. Uh, all the basics have been covered. We built, we built an inn, we built a tavern, we built a, um, a temple. We, we got all, of course, all the basic industry done. But my plan was this time when we reclaimed was to sort of get a, uh, an industry going, like making, I don't know, mugs or something. So we could have things to sell. And, um, because we, we didn't have any metals in our forts. So the way of getting metals would be to sell things to buy bars from the traders. And then we can make those and things. We can also melt down metal. We can buy like metal cages, melt them down in the, in the bars, and then make metal stuff out of that. That was going to be what we're going to do this time. Um, just to kind of show what you do if you don't have metal things. But uh, ideally you'll pick a place that has some metal. You can mine it out, melt it down, turn it into bars, and make whatever. So we've got those nine dwarves. No. Why does it say entities? Nine dwarves. And up here it says 168. I mean, I realize... Oh, because this is... Okay, never mind, never mind. This is just, like, outsider things. Okay, um... In our fort, we had the 52 plus 6. That's that's the Palace of Balls. Let me see if we can pull up a map. I kind of saw all this stuff before. Can we do, uh... Let's go to... The last year, so it's 126. So there's us... Um, this has not been updated because we could update it, I suppose. Um, what was the, was it export all? All? Export legends. I've forgotten my button. 
Um, oh, we're fine. <laughs> uh, the only thing I'm missing is the, the the fall of my fortress, basically. Handle tube is now controlled by other folks. Oops. Um, so, we have, like, the humans up here. We could maybe build a fort, like, up here in the ice and build our dwarven fortress here. All the goblins. We can see the goblins are everywhere. They're all the green. Including this one. Uh, where was the place that we started? There's the camp that we began at. There's 30 humans there. That Dietrix, Dietrix, uh, is where we began our adventure mode. We, we wandered into... These are all dark pits. I don't see the place that... Well, it was called Myth something, right? Monster open. It may not actually be... Have been built yet. Maybe they built it later between this and the and the yeah, because it was right in here, the uh, the the town we came to, and we built our place like right in here. I see sites. Sparkle Towers. Where was hex cracked? There it is. A giant cougar. That's the thing that was in that. <laughs> okay, so there's myth papers. Okay. Hex cracked the storm of hardiness. Uh, so in that lair that we were at, in adventure mode, was a giant cougar. Can we see anything about this giant cougar? Um, let me look. We want to look by... I just look at Cougar. Are you him? No. Giant Cougar. We have a few in here. You've died, you died, you died, you died. You did not. Scribe Basement. Here you are. This is him. This is the guy. He's only killed one person. He killed Mata, uh, a girl, in 123. Became an enemy of the of the humans, my people. Uh, enemy of the group of Twilight, my my people of the uh, human adventure mode thing. Uh, yep, killed that person. All defeated. The later escaped unscathed. Ambushed. Yes, we know you were struck. Mm, how are you? You fought. While defeated, and then you were killed. Uh, became an enemy of the Vice of Barbarity. Became an enemy of the evil Finns. Okay, so that this it was a cougar. A cougar was living in that cave. Basically, it's just a big cave. Did I say female? Male. Um, so let's go back and look at... Yeah. We want to look at... We won't be able to see the conflict that was that was happening while we were in adventure mode. But we can look at sites. Go to Myth Papers. So this is Myth Papers. This is the place that we spent most of our time. That's where we found Kali and what's his face with an eye? So, in 25, we don't see the newest one because we haven't updated it yet. But it was, a, it's been attacked a few times by the evil of Finns. The same, these are the same folks that attacked my fort. This is the one that was, like, back and forth attacked by folks. Oh, this was originally founded by dwarves. It was abandoned in 125. The oracular, oracular devil of the evil of Finns. Lots of terrible things happened here. Okay, I think I think we're done. Anything else you guys want to look at? We have 
That's our lair we saw before. There was also the, um, the vault we were going to go to eventually. We never made it there, though. The form beings, the form messengers, and a destroyer of Ohid is here at that, uh, at that place. Maybe we'll make it there. I kind of like this. I like the way this world is going. Well, I don't, the world's going terrible for everyone but the goblins. But it'll be interesting to try a, a game out. So I think it maybe if we made a... Let me go back to my map. Uh, back to my map. If we if we decided to make another camp and see if, if we could... No, this is this is not Masterwork. Let's see if we could build a Dwarven civilization back again. We might be able to begin down here. Or maybe up this way. I don't know, somewhere away from the goblins. Until we can get big enough to take them out. Not take them out, but fight them back. There's our sights. Um, is that the vault? It's a lair. There's also a labyrinth that has a minotaur in it. Right here. Who's the minotaur? Where is he? There he is. He does have a name. Thram... Thrammac. Female minotaur. You, uh, enemy of everything. You're good at things. You've killed a few folks. Mostly goblins. A few humans. Your beast attacks. Uh, you even attacked myth papers. Twice. You've been around. The most kills in the world. That's a good thing to look at. Let's see. So we're going to look at... Let's see, how can we figure this out? All... We want to look at... How can I see most kills? Notable kills. Well, those are our folks. Our folks died. <laughs> um, I don't know how to sort it by number of kills, actually. Just forgotten beast in general. We can see the most likely it's going to be a forgotten beast. Hmm, maybe not. None of you have anything. That's the chart. There's nothing. You didn't do anything. Uh, what about? Creature of the night. We've got three creatures of the night around. Former member of the Palace of Balls, eh? Now you're a night creature. Mudo. Has a few kills. And Raycust. Raycust actually has a mom and dad. And he rampaged Myth Myth Papers is a terrible place. Killed a few folks. I don't know how to see uh number of kills. Sorry. Yeah, I know there's bronze colossus out there somewhere. Moody. Copper Scorch. I remember when Adventure Mode people were talking about him. Um Enemy of Everything. He has 107 notable kills. It's gotta be up there. Bunny matched. Who named their town Bunny matched? Next to hate muddled. Where is he? He is down here. That's where the bronze colossus is. Alright, well, we're going to end the stream. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Uh, this will be the end of the tutorial fort playlist. We're going to continue on with this this world, though. Um, I think is what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if we can um, we can reclaim the land for the dwarves. That's our plan, anyways. Uh, I'm not sure how well we'll do, but we'll, we can try. There's only, uh, what, 168 of us left in the world. Some of us, most of us are, like, living with the, uh, the goblins, apparently. 
Oh, there's a Savannah Titan out there somewhere, too. Um... What else we got here? 4,700 goblins in the world. 2,500. We have... Of all this, we have only... Where is it? 152 dwarves. The whole time. The whole world. Battle deaths. 18,000 events have happened. I've never scrolled this far down. <laughs> deaths by cause. Written context. Composed. Historical figures. Links. Competitions. Abductions. 82 performances. Some of those are mine. Sites retired. One. We made one masterpiece item. And uh, my phone is yelling at me. So I think it's time to go. So thanks again for watching. And I'll see you all next time.